Welcome back into my office. You are now here with me, Brian. Uh, this short video is going to be a brief overview of this small selection of items that have been cataloged by us in the past, uh, this past week. Uh, the first one, I'm going to just now show a very brief overview of these with their uh, numbers. This is B3412. So if uh, any of these interest you, uh, you're able to locate them by searching uh, for our item number. This little transformation uh, juvenile book here with color lithography uh, is from the late 19th century and does this type of transformation like so. This is a very unusual format, I'll say, that uh, in many years uh, of looking at uh, children's books of the 19th century, I really cannot recall very many at all that do this particular style of paper movement. Uh, like we have the mother and the child and all of a sudden there's the brother and like so. That's the first item. The next one is this beautiful decorative French binding like so. All of the gold ink used here uh, is on top of embossing. Uh, and we see it's got a beautifully engraved 1858 prize uh, book plate there. This next guidebook is B3408 Mohonk Lake in New York along the Hudson River. It comes with this supplemental little uh, pamphlet for the season of, I think, well, it's like 19, yeah, 37. And the book, however, is 19th century, like this. It's well illustrated, like so. Nice and clean inside. An unusual uh, location for this guidebook and a scarce book. This New York City Stranger's Guide is B3401. A little bit of loss in these spots here, but the gilt still is, is bright. The spine is very attractive. And the book uh, looks like so. Nice little wood engravings all throughout it. And here we have the title page. And there is a profusion of these plates like this. So this gives you a sense of how this particular guidebook looks inside. Next is this Tanner's 1841 uh, guidebook with four very nice folding maps. It's B3405. It book opens here to the preface and then begins the text. The text is all complete. It's lacking uh, the title page, uh, but it's priced accordingly. The real key to this uh, item is these four very nice folding maps with detailed indexes on them. And I'll show you each map very briefly. There's Boston, like so, and then we have like this. Okay, next we have New York City. That's a very nice city plan there. Lower Manhattan. And finally, we have this Philadelphia plan, like so. We have also cataloged this week this carries uh, itinerary here. The front cover is detached. It is 1806, like so. It's B3393 is our catalog number. There is a large folding map at the front, which is curious in that this left side of the map folds open like so, and this right side is like so. It does appear that it was issued in this way. There is a neat line here, although it could in fact be lacking a panel, although I don't believe that it is. I don't think that it is. I think this is complete. And so uh, that's how that map survives at the front of this nice little book. And here's the contents, very detailed. It's actually rather stunning when you think about the amount of work that has gone into producing this type of, uh, uh, just it's really remarkable. So there's that. We've got this gorgeous book here, 19th century, highly decorative gilt uh, gift book. It is B3438. It's got these beautiful steel engravings. They're very dark impressions. They're by Sartain, who uh, used a method of printing which is quite distinctive to their press and workshop. Um, and here we see the way that some of the plates look. They're, yeah, nice, really nice plates in here. This type of printing, each plate would have been printed individually. <clears throat> 
you know, engraved on a metal plate and printed individually. There's a profusion of them throughout. And this is just a beautiful example. Not that many books of that era survive in that sort of condition. Here is a very rare imprint, uh, South Carolina. It is in a period, a quarter leather binding like so. It's 1869, Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, yeah, very rare. Complete a list of contents within is found at the front like so. Uh, yep, and there's, uh, we notice that there's uh, quite a bit of mentioned stories of the Confederacy. Uh, there are uh, a small number of these assorted uh, vignette type cartoons within. Uh, there's a little tiny bit of advertising scattered throughout. Uh, it's just a very interesting imprint with interesting content. And there we go, like this type of thing here. Um, Yeah, there's more, but uh, in the flip through like this, it's easy to miss them. There's this two volume set, which we're going to make a separate video of in order to show you some of the plates within it. So this will be its own uh, video coming up soon, but this is just a brief overview of the contents within. These aquatint plates uh, are scattered throughout the set, like so. Yes, even some original flowers within, probably. Well, it's hard to know. It makes one you wonder sometimes when you see flowers tucked into uh, books on travel, if the flowers are in fact taken from the location uh, of the travel book, which is always possible. The final uh, item we're going to show right now in this brief overview is this rare and charming four volume set of Don Quixote. It's B3429 in a period leather binding, very distinctive and similar to uh, other bindings done by this Exeter Williams in the 1820s, a wood engraved uh, frontis like this. Uh, and the paper is toned. There are uh, several of these small old little worming holes go like so into the text block. They tend to be almost exclusively in uh, blank margin areas like up here uh, and down here like so. But again, each volume does have uh, wood engraved frontis uh, and the joints are cracked on the front cover of volume four, but the, the boards are still well attached. Uh, and it's also, there is a crack here on the rear of the cover uh, for the back cover of uh, the first volume, but again, still well attached. And that uh, shows you very briefly uh, an overview of the highlights of 10 items that we've cataloged in the past couple days. And if any of these interest you, uh, they are all currently uh, available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.